we are free free freedom we're finally here yeah <laughs> we are currently driving around well it's just a little bit nostalgic for Will's a weird even feeling because we're now living in the area that he grew up in. Here's a crazy, crazy story. He grew up in this area, we're in Hillsborough, but I li we lived literally on the same road around the same time years ago, like when we were seven or eight. Oh, there's a car here, um, seven or eight. I was there, I, I was living in Tauranga, but my mum lived on the same street, so every second weekend I'd be out too. But he was just saying, I used to live there, and I just showed him where I used to live. <laughs> just so freaky, anyway. So freaky. What are the chances of that? Yeah, crazy. So we um, are in New Zealand, obviously. We're here, we're out of quarantine, we were free yesterday. We have woken up. So cool, we had our, my cousin slash best friends. Yeah. Surprise us at home yesterday. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> it was crack up because say so I got my other mate to pick us up because he has a youth and yeah, obviously we've seen how the bags we had. Obviously, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. obviously. Well that's um, his favourite word, yeah. So <laughs> um yeah, so Josh came around and picked us up, so we were me and Josh were home first and like obviously oh yeah. Now you're gonna hear you say that so much. Um, so yeah. mum's bought this new house and so we we first got there and I was you know doing a ticket tour around the house because down the bottom level and stuff there's four bedrooms and stuff so we were just walking around like taking our time and then walk upstairs and they were waiting for us upstairs but we're like we were taking ages <laughs> doing a little ticket tour. And they got there before us too because I went with um, his parents in the other car and we stopped at the supermarket um, also stopped and got dinner and I was thinking he had this big crate of Chinese food and I was thinking geez that they like always go like overboard when it comes to choosing food to eat and so I, I kind of didn't think anything of it just because of that but I was thinking geez that's a lot of food mm. still didn't even click um, and then yeah you, you got a big fright yeah so I, yeah. like I walked out got a big fright and it was funny because they were like waiting in the corner for ages because obviously they're waiting in the corner since, since we got home and they said like fuck they're like wanted us to hurry up because <laughs> they're like waiting in the corner but yeah i got like a massive frog like, holy shit so yeah. that was yeah that was cool and then same with me when i got there i was like oh like biggest right just had no idea but it just it was so nice and so sweet of them um and just made our night and we really just yeah. honestly it was so chill which is what we needed and we have Rome obviously we couldn't go like a lot of my other friends I think wanted to catch up and drink and stuff but we just it's like you know too soon for Rome to leave him with yeah his grandparents because he doesn't really know, know them yet. yet like he gets a little bit like he's still like scared but so today and yes yeah, well straight away though that would have been just so weird for him and it was hard to put yeah. him down asleep because he was just like what the heck where am I um, but today it's been really nice and spending time with him and he's mm. getting a little bit more comfortable and stuff with them now so it won't take long obviously yeah. obviously obviously <laughs> but now what are we doing we are currently driving on our way we're driving through uh, through Hillsborough going to Grafton yeah going to oh, Grafton on our way in. to see the property I'm so excited exciting because like this is it like we're on now so this is it okay this, this is it this is it it's like it's like, all I going. can't wait so once we go and view this property today there's a few more calls that we need to make just based on, on the space oh, did you ask Liv to come? Oh. ring her I might ring her mm. alright Alright, so, we're back. Me. <laughs> I just messaged her just to see if she would pop over. So Liv's the, my interior designer and my friend. Um, and it would be obviously good to, oh my gosh, this obviously where this little bugger. Yeah. <laughs> to see her. If you haven't noticed, we say obviously a lot. Obviously. <laughs> now it's going to annoy you guys just as much as it annoys us. Um, yeah and anyway we're gonna go check it out and there's a few calls just based on what we see we just need to actually like obviously <laughs> we need to see the space <laughs> to make some calls yes. like what what are these calls what? um like oh, so 
depends if we want to do this whole front desk thing. Oh, yeah. Whether we've got enough room to do that. Um, whether we even else? have space to have it. It's actually a very small property, so we may not even have space to have it, a reception and, a, and even a chill out area, which is what we really, really wanted. Yeah. Um, well, we probably won't have enough space there. With um, the equipment and we really yeah, want to really have just, as much room as we can for people to train. Yeah, just getting the feel of the size of the space. Yeah, we really. also need to like... And you can um, kind of make decisions what we need. Yeah, on lighting, painting, and mm. yeah, there's a few things, but yeah, we're just, I guess, excited to see the property and just to be like, whoa, this is it. This is going to be our gym and workplace and our home for a little bit. Yeah. But we're feeling really good and excited. Excited and it's just I, I think a little bit overwhelmed too. Yeah, because like a you, lot. it's like you, now we've got so much to do. Yeah, like a, and, a but little you know bit how when it's in your head, you're like, fuck, I need to do so much. And we it's also need um, to write it properly. Which I tried to, but no one was paying attention yeah, to me before. No. Write a list of everything that we need to do. Yeah, and have it clear. Like tomorrow. We've got a lot on because yeah. um, we also setting up our home too, so we need to get yeah. furniture. Um, just we want a little couch. I mean, that's not needed straight away. That's not top priority, but we also need to get baby gates for the. Ch that's the priority. Just like little things. Um, phones. High chair. Um, phones. We need to open a bank account. There's just a, a few things like that that we need to do. Mm. Um, and then the next day we're probably going to go and look at some. Um, we need to get some gym gear that we still need to, or still waiting on. Um, yeah. So do that. So there's just lots of things we've got to do every single day. That's fine. But that's good. Can't it's wait. good. It is exciting. It's good to keep us. We knew we were going to be busy. Yeah. And like, especially like we're really only got a month. Probably only a couple weeks to set up the gym properly, have the opening day, and open. So it's going to be full on. That's crazy. See, that's Mount Eden now. Yeah. I love how close we are, Because eh? <laughs> we're... Um, so my mum used to live out south. So if you live in Auckland, obviously you know where that is. And now we're living in Hillsborough. Hillsborough. Like, how um, you realise um, how close you are to town. Like, it's so, so much better. So much better. It was better. always just a mesh to just leave the house to come in. Especially because yeah. all our friends are out these ways too. And it works now because we were going to, you know, live at in Papatoli and work in Grafton. Work Grafton so this yeah. is perfect. Baby. He's fast asleep. Oh, the baby. He's fast asleep. But yeah, driving through Mount Eden right now. Anyway, guys, we'll show you what our property looks like when we get there. Alright, we're here. This is the front door. That's what, yeah, that's another thing we should Black sheets would probably go down well. Look, Romy. Just cover it basically. Uzzy. Finally yeah. seen it in a real life. Hey guys, we're back. Um, what are we doing today? We've got a busy day ahead of us today. We have left Romy at home with his grandma. But we are today we've got to go to the bank. We're going to the bank now. We've got to go drop off some papers to get our car. Um, what's the word? Compliance. Complied compliance for the car um, and then because we're bringing it over obviously in the container and then once it goes to, like, to this place it's all approved then we're going to go register it and all that sort of thing so it's a bit of a mesh um, but we're also going to go to the bank today open up personal accounts also open up um, a business account and also go get some um, sims actually get accounts you want to get an account with Vodafone today so we're going to go do that um, and yeah, busy, busy, busy day today. I feel like there's probably more. Oh, we're also going to go look at some mirrors, actually. That's something exciting. Um, we went into our gym and we saw yesterday that our, we wanted more, we need more mirrors. Um, we've sent off quotes and it's quite expensive to get mirrors, um, especially if you want them custom and all that sort of thing. So we were just, I reached out on Instagram, I got my friend to reach out on Instagram and then found out that we've got a family friend that um, is able to do mirrors and she just said come have a look at, um, come have a look today and we have to do LED mirrors too. 
which here this whole time we're gonna get normal mirrors do the LED ourselves so this may be the way we're gonna go which is gonna be very helpful yeah. but anyway fingers crossed it all goes good and we get good pricing and yeah we'll let you know who we get our mirrors off and how we go with that um, the platforms getting all of us the rest of our stock our weights this is DJ helping us <laughs> We can put it all on the truck because it was not going to fit into that Suzuki suit whatsoever. Oh, yeah. So, I just got this from these warehouse here. This warehouse. This is just out in Tiaratu. Well, I found them online actually, and a few people have told us about them so you can get cheaper gear, especially with the bulk load of everything that we needed to get. And we just needed more, like, for the plates, a couple more dumbbells few other things as well so platforms are in there barbells a um, few things that the company we got the rest of our stock couldn't deliver to and it's really hard at the moment trying to get stock with COVID and everyone trying to gym at home and all that sort of thing but yeah anyway hopefully majority of what we need to get we are in our property and I want to give you a little tour of what it looks like right now this is like the initial stages i mean actually there's a little bit that has been done but i'm going to show you okay so i'm going to turn the camera around so okay yo 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 this is how you come in here you come up the stairs and you come in the store so these doors have been ripped out there were offices over there okay so when you walk in you're gonna turn to the right this is our gear we've just picked up the rest of our gear i mean we've got heaps in our container that's still yet to get here but we bought our weight plates and a couple more dumbbells and some platforms and a few things for our cable machine. Um, anyway, this, where I'm looking at right now, used to be a sliding door and it used to go into that building there. They've patched that up and so we now have a wall. <laughs> when you come here, you turn around. Those mirrors were here from the um, previous tenants and this was like a little physio gym. Um, and so we're not sure whether we're going to buy them off them yet or get our own or whatnot. That's just our current dilemma. When you turn around, there's that pillar in the middle. There is Willis. <laughs> and you walk through here. So we're so stoked. Like in terms of the size, we thought it was a little bit smaller. It's just so hard to see through photos um, and videos even. We were FaceTimed a few times, but it was still like, oh my God, how are we going to fit all our gear in here? But to be honest, we think it's a perfect size now because we do want it to be a small gym there is just going to be the two of us training we want it to be intimate we want to not be screaming our heads off and actually like be with everyone while we're training them so this size is is pretty perfect to be honest so yeah come around here it's all just going to be machines that are going to be here so this is where the offices what i was saying is there were offices we just ripped out here um we're thinking to pull the mirrors across have mirrors on those concrete walls too to about there like a squat rack here we're not too sure like it's not in sin stone what we're going to be doing but probably a squat rack smith machine maybe leg press not sure what do you reckon baby yeah you're a tutu honestly touching everything tripping over everything and yeah when you come into here this is the little walkway down to the showers. So you can come in here. So I'll turn this light on. Um, I need to figure out, we could potentially put like lockers in here or something. I'm not too sure yet. You're gonna come down here. It's just a, like a, I don't know, what is that? Something, water pressure. That's just a nothing cupboard. But there's also those shelves. Something for when people have showers, I think. Um, to come in here and then there's the two toilets male and female we've got two showers in here shower behind that door and shower here you can put and then you got these basins here I want to put something cute like a little I'm gonna put a little neon sign there I think or something something who knows hello and you come through here so that's the bathroom lot to little to spruce it up what to do and spruce it up is what I'm trying to say through here. Hi baby. No, leave the door. But the other thing, I don't know what Linda was thinking. Mm. Whether she was going to 
drill into there and run lead, lead strips around it. Yeah. Still not gonna get that effect of it coming behind, but. Uh, That's still just a strip, yeah. Yeah, so our current little dilemma is what we're gonna do about the mirrors. Because we want neon strips behind the mirrors, and whether we get neon LED mirrors that's already in, or whether we do a DIY. Do you know what I mean? So because we've already got mirrors on here, we're gonna have to take them off, if we're gonna buy these ones off them, take them off and do some sort of frame behind it, but then it's like, if you take the mirrors off, you could break them. Then it's also getting the same size mirror. Um, so we're just going through that at the moment. We met with a girl who is actually a family friend um, who said that they're gonna help us with the mirrors and we're just trying to figure out what the best option for us is price-wise because we're trying to keep costs down as much as we can and we have done really good so far, to be honest. We're very happy with how we've done and we're going good so far. Hey, what are you eating? No. What? Yuck! Get up. Wanted to quickly show you what just came in the mail. A whole big bag of these little bad boys. So these are just phone holders. And we got them branded. We just got them offline. So that didn't take too long actually. I reckon maybe a week or two weeks maybe to come in the mail and to be made. And I just sent them my logo and they just got it on the back of that. So these get stuck on with that adhesive there onto the back of your phone and just help you hold your phone. But super cool too, especially people taking selfies. We've got our branding on there. Good little marketing tactic or strategy. So, super stoked about these and just give them away because they're not too expensive. So, happy to give these guys away rather than, you know, charge for them or anything. But, yeah, how cool. Love, love. All right, hey guys. Just here on Saturday. Uh, I don't know what's the date. Fifth. We're here just prepping to paint the gym black. So, I got me and my mate. My mate's basically doing all the work. I'm just here helping, helping hand, helping hand. But um, yeah, we're just prepping the building. Just all this white, so whatever's white here, we're gonna paint black. As you can see, started doing all the tape and stuff. Josh is just patching up um, some holes in the wall. And then, yeah, so I moved these mats in yesterday. Got all the mats here yesterday, so our container's here. I've uh, got all the gears, but I'm just storing, just leaving all the weights and stuff there for now, all the equipment, until we've painted it and basically laid the floor. Once I've laid the floor, then I'll be able to get the equipment in. So it shouldn't be too long, too long, sorry, hopefully, which is exciting. But yeah, I'll show you once we've uh, painted this. So hi, Josh. <laughs> what's good, what's good? <laughs> what, what's, your, what's the company? Coin. Coin Total Upgrade, baby. Coin Total Let's Upgrade. Go. If you need any work on your building sites, any renos, anything at all, hit my boy up, Josh. He'll be able to help you out. We're just starting the spray. This is the thing here. How goes that? Uh, how easy is that, eh? First coat anyway, now I'm going to let it dry, obviously ran out of a bit of paint here, still got a little bit left there to paint, but the ceiling's done, <whistles> had a little bit of a 
over here. <laughs> the return has been flying out of the bucket. <laughs> and got just all <laughs> But looks much better. Way better than white. You. Hi guys, little update. We are, I just ran downstairs because I heard Will's doing the painting down here and I wanted to quickly get a snapshot of what he's doing. So, <laughs> we've told you in our previous videos about our situation that happened with the kettlebells. I will remind you, but what happened is that we thought we ordered black ones. We purposely ordered from this Raw Fitness because they had black ones, not knowing they had other colours. And they didn't ask us, nor did I even look to check. And so, <laughs> we got colourful ones and you guys would already know that our gym is all blacked out. So, we weren't happy about that and they wouldn't do a refund, they wouldn't change it. And so we're like, you know what, we're just going to have to paint them ourselves. So, what Wills is doing, what are you doing, babe? He's just spray so painting. Spraying them. So, Still spraying. But, like, what I'm going to do is, because they're different colours, but I'm taping these. Yeah. So we know what colours they are. Like, yeah. They're not, they're not all just black, because the numbers are, like, engraved in here, and you can't, and you can't yeah. really see it. At least you can see by the colour and have a code yeah. and recognise that. I'm just using, just tape around there, and then just... Just go from Bunnings, eh? Yeah. Just from Bunnings, Rust Guard. Yeah. Um, like the guy, you just asked him really. The guy said that this is probably the best Camera's to stay on. Too. Yeah. Um, on the middle. Obviously, because it doesn't really matter though, because kettlebells get chucked around. Yeah, they're like, probably going to have to do this a few them times. Them off, so. Yeah. so, yeah. Anyway, my camera's going to die, I just saw. So, just quickly, we also got some med balls. We just got them from Kmart. We couldn't find med balls anywhere or even just straight black ones. So, we found, we walked past Kmart. I'm like, yo, we'll get them. They will do. We also got mats all from Kmart too that we made little put little eyelets in. Cheap um, ads. Cheap ads. How much are they? Like? Eight bucks each. Eight bucks each. Whoa. Cheaper than anywhere else. All of the equipment stores. So, and I had some of these in my home gym and they're good quality. They're thick ones too. So, happy about that. So, yeah. Hey guys. It's me, I am back and I want to give you a little update on how we are going and tracking with Project Cobalt. Uh, everything is going to plan, it is now week two since we've been out of quarantine. And yeah, everything is tracking along our timeline correctly and, and awesomely, which is really good. Um, but it's all going, it's still at the same time, it's still going really, really fast and it's just like, holy moly, we have three weeks to get everything done for our open day, two and a bit weeks. Oh my gosh, even saying that makes it sound scary. Um, but it all, it's all positive, it's all good, no hiccups thus far, touch wood. Um, but I'm going to show you what it's looking like behind me, it's in the state at the moment, so I'll just show you anyway, this is the BTS. So, look at that, so, so far we're just here today, um, Will's is sweeping the floors, so what he's going to do is just try and clean them up a little bit before we lay the mats on Monday, it's Thursday today, okay, so Thursday, Thursday night, and Friday, the boys are going to finish doing the, the painting. So at the moment, they had just spray painted the roof, um, which still has a few touch-ups to, to be done. Also, they'll just paint, use the rest of the paint to paint the walls. They're also going to sand. It's, it became a little bit of a hiccup. The aircon was really, really freezing, stayed on. So the paint like, kind of dripped a little bit, which happens with spray paint. So a few drips here and there, but that's all good. All they're going to sand, and they're going to roll this um, tonight so this will all hopefully be painted in the next couple of days we also got our mirrors down there delivered which is really exciting so these mirrors that are here are the ones we bought from the previous tenancy they are going to come off the walls they haven't been glued so that's a bonus so we can take them off the walls and then we're going to build a frame so we're going to build a frame and bring it kind of center it a little bit more Build the frame, then these mirrors are going to be stuck onto that frame. Neon strips are going to be around that frame. So that's where it's going to give that kind of like shadowy halo effect with the light behind it, the blue neon. Um, and that's going to be there. And then we're going to have, see, I don't know if you can see that pillar there. Yeah, you can. Um, mirror's going to be on that side and that side. So either side of the pillar. So that's what our mirrors are going to be doing. Um, but yeah, Wolves is just going to try and sweep all of this up. Clean the excess paint off. We've got some stuff. We just went to Bunnings to do that. And so that's just one job out of the way um, to do. But yeah. So what else? We also had a meet. Come here. Come here. It's quite difficult to, by the way, having a child trying to do things together. 
Um, we had a meeting with Vanessa, the event stylist today, who's also doing our neon signage or helping us with that, um, which is cool. She, we went to lunch with her, she came and saw the space, so she knows what we're working with for our open day. Um, she's gonna make it look really cool, and I trust her with that. She styled our gender reveal, actually, so the last time we saw her was probably before he was even born. Um, but yeah, so she just saw the space. She has got a good idea of what to do and, and is gonna come back to me with all of that sort of thing. Um, lots of cool ideas. But yeah, that was today. Um, I went and saw another daycare for him, a little bit closer to home, which I think I may even put him into that one. Just lots of little bits and pieces to set up our business account, which we're waiting on. Our personal accounts with ASB. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on actually, but on Monday we're gonna go get our gear and then that stuff will probably be done. Mm, I love you. Say hi. Uh. Hi. Hi everybody. Anyway guys, I may even wrap it all up here. And in our next vlog, you'll see more of the progress. So it's, it's all happening really fast. We hope to have this all done within the next week. So by next week, so. That'll be the next vlog. <gasps> the before and after. Yeah, peace.